Generic greetings and welcome to the signal state. Today's beverage is a very nice cup of green tea. Lovely, lovely. So the signal state is essentially a puzzle game where you have to reprogram a synthesizer in order to make farm machinery work. And yes, that sounds like a ridiculous concept, but it is a fairly accurate one and it explains roughly what you'll be doing. So you take the synthesizer with different inputs and outputs and have to connect with different plugs and jacks and alter waveforms, etc. It's a game I've played for about an hour and a half and that means it's first impressions only and I am absolutely terrible at this thing which is why this is going to be quite a short video because I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to brute force my way through a puzzle that may take you 10 minutes but me five hours. Let's go over to level select and I'll show you just a few levels in the game. I've only played the first uh, 369, 10, 11 levels of the game but either way let's just go to start. And I'll show you, as I said, a little bit of this thing. So we have our main uh, synthesizer uh, load out here. And the the common thread throughout all of the puzzles is that you will have a certain number of inputs and a certain number of outputs. So on the top left, it shows you what we need to do. So this is a diagnostic test to verify that the signal pipeline works. Connect source 1, SRC, that is source 1, directly to both out 1 and out 2. So we can click on source 1 and then we can drag and we will drop a wire to out one and if we click play here it will start going through the diagnostics and we get some horrible noises because we've done something wrong on the bottom here it will show you the timestamp and it has to get to the end in this case 50 cycles and it'll show you what is being outputted on the sources as well as what is expected on the uh, outputs as well so source one we have one two three four five and in out one we are getting one two three four five however as you can see we're not connecting anything to out two so that's slowly going out of sync essentially you can use this at the top to uh, go off and step forward like that so you can uh, sort of diagnose what's going on. We also have a lot more options on the right hand side for like locking modules and cables which we probably won't need in this video. So how I'm going to do this, I can't connect up another cable, it's uh, literally a one-to-one -one plug system and that's one of the main draws I thought of the game is that you have this sort of physicality with the cables and the connections and I really like that at first sight you can sort of see all of how it works it's a very like safe uh, physical game in a sense so obviously we're going to use the split you've already worked that out i imagine you take the source one into the input of the split and it splits that into one two three four outputs which we can then move over it doesn't uh, split the signal by 25 percent for each one it just outputs whatever we get in and we click play and we get some nice synthesizer noises going up key cycling back and there we go that is completed it also shows you uh, the outputs and inputs as well and you get a rating at the end for the module used and the space in the rack and how many cables you've done etc so let's just go to continue and that is a fairly easy one like i said simple diagnostic test there let's go for something a bit different let's go for a circuit breaker here and we will start that and this one is a little bit different we have to have a circuit breaker out one so this here receives source one signal increased by five volts so we're going to take this split you can lock and unlock the modules by the way so you can either move these around or lock them and do whatever you need so we'll take the source one and we'll split it because we know we're going to need it for the second one as well and it says it receives source one signal but increase it by five volts so we've got a couple of things we can use here we've got a bias which takes an input and shifts it by a constant offset value there is no input uh, the bias outputs the offset value so that's a new module and attenuator takes an input and reduces its intensity inverts it or both so in this case we want to use a bias so i'm going to oh, i can actually unlock that it's a bit of a shame so we'll take out one and go to the input of the bias we want to shift it by a set value of five because that's what this says it is going to need go to the out and then we'll click play and we can see that we are doing that perfectly well so we got out one all correct out to we obviously haven't touched there as well the cables themselves are automatically changed of all color they're randomized but you can select cable color and do some cable management by like moving things around and such if you if you wanted to do that okay so the next one is out to receive source one signal but with its intensity halved so let's go ahead and we'll use an attenuator because this is a percentage so we'll take the input we'll take the output and we want to reduce this by uh hang on so 
minus 50%, is that correct? No, it's the, see I always get confused on this one, it's a 50% output, but that's an inversion, so let's go to that one there and click play, and that, if I'm correct, should be done, yeah, and we're getting, again, more synth noises, other ones will be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more interesting in the noises that they make with the synth, so there you are, and I don't know if anyone's like, you know, used to synths or whatnot, or we're not has any interest in that, but you know, there may be some interest here for that one. Uh, let's go over for the VCA test. This is a, again another module. Most of this is just tutorial levels, but there you are. So, the VCA test at each time stop, out one receives a specified percentage of source one signal. The percentage is specified in source two. So, you can see these waveforms are all over the place now. So, we want to use this thing called a VCA, which is is outputs a percentage of the value. The percentage is, is decided by the CV input, which is treated as a percentage from 0 to 100%. So if we say put 10 in there, but we put 50% in the CV, we'll get 5 out because it's halved it. So let's just connect up source 1 and output to output 1 and source 2 to there and let's see what this sounds like. That's more pleasant, isn't it? <laughs> and you can see, this is moving up and down, this is lighting up, depending on the percentage. And there we go, another another easy one. Okay, we've done a lot of the easy ones now, let's go for something like a barn lights where we'll put them all together now. So, the barn lights is, oh yeah, it's telling us about timestamps, we can put timestamps in here by clicking on that and when it plays it will stop at a certain point. You might want to do that for debugging purposes, there's also an oscilloscope so you can check out the inputs and the outputs and see what's on the oscilloscope and you can also use like a notepad here so you can go, yeah hello world etc but you can you can basically write sort of pseudo code essentially if you wanted to okay we have uh two things send source one to out one but with its intensity boosted by 50 percent so we want to use um the can we use the attenuator in this case might be able to but i'm going to uh let's try that actually in out and boost it by 50%. I don't think that'll work. That's the wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. And that will invert it. So that's wrong as well. So how do we boost it then? Um, what we'll do is we'll boost it by. We'll use a. We'll use a VCA. We'll take the input. We'll output it to there. That at the moment is going to output nothing. But we want to boost it by 50%. Ah, oh, can I probably use a split then? So we'll go source one to there. Uh, like so. We'll put the input there. We want to then boost it by a total of 50. So we'll set up, this is a set of value. Um, so we'll go there. That's just going to output a straight 50. It's not adding anything. And that means it's that 50%. And then can we sum it? So the output goes into that one there. And then output that one there, and then will that be correct or is it completely wrong? It is correct. Now that seems very, very inefficient to me. It feels like there's a lot more streamlining that can be done here, but that's obviously a part of the game. Of How I tend to play these things is to get them done and then go back to fix them. That is the big hurdle for puzzle games. If there is one solution, I tend to not get on with those games. If it's just one solution, you can't do it any other way, then no. I like to be able to experiment, try it, see what works, and then go. Uh, I think the pinnacle of this is uh, Opus Magnum, which is, you know, you can make something that is terribly inefficient, but at least you've completed it, and then you can go from there. Um, incidentally, this may look like a Zaktronics title, but it's not. Uh, they are not, however, shying away from the fact that it's heavily inspired by Zaktronics titles. So, uh, yeah, please bear that in mind. Anyway, that is correct. Let's try this other one now. Send Source 1 to Out 2, but with its intensity boosted by percentage specified in Source 2. Well, that's actually easier, surely, because we just need another one of these. So it is Source 1 one output it to there and it is boosted by oh no 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 that is not that will only put uh we want to sum it do we is that right sum to there that to there that to there so we take in source one we boost it by whatever that is there or rather we output sorry 
whatever we have uh, a percentage of sauce too and then we add it back to it which is going to be essentially a boost that should be correct but again this seems it seems wrong it seems to be there's a more slicker way of doing it and um, perhaps there is perhaps there isn't uh, if you've seen one then by all means let me know it would be nice to hear if there's better ways of doing it but that is now done there you go continue so not too bad at all I managed to get there in the end. What else do we have? We have things like um, a logic test here. So we now have different logics as well. So this is where we have uh, huh. if source 1 and source 2 are both 100 volts, send 100 volts to out 1, otherwise send 0 volts. This is where we have and, ors, and sums and stuff. So you know, we've got not, ands, and ors. So if source 1 and source 2 are both 100, send it to there. So we'll use and. So we'll probably have to use a split. So we'll say source one of there we'll out it to there we'll also do the same thing for source two what i'll do is i'll put source one up there and i'll put source two down there so we'll say if source one and source two are the same then i'll put to number one okay fine if either so let's try that actually i tend to run them separately and see if it works and yes that is working exactly as intended if either source one or source two are at 100 volts send 100 volts out it says volts but think of it as a binary signal it's either zero or 100 or zero and one because you get these two here yeah logic modules take one or two inputs and i'll put a binary signal zero or 100 volts depending on the binary state of the inputs i.e the input signals are more than zero volts or not there you go so you just output one or the two in this particular case oh yeah so even if you input 50 in both 50 it would still output uh one essentially because it's a binary it's either it either is or it isn't Anyway, back to this without the waffle. If either source 1 or 2 are set to 100, I'll put 100 or otherwise set 0. So that is an OR. So if either of them, so if 1 or 2, whoops, let me lock that in place and lock that in place. You can also copy it and delete it by using the buttons below there. I love the look of these modules. Like you're putting this synthesizer and this rack together. I really like the look of it. And play. There you go, that's all working as well. Good, third one. If source 1 and source 2 are both at 0 volts, send 100 volts out otherwise. So we're inverting it essentially, which is a... Is that a not? Oh, so how will we do this? Um, I guess... Could we use... Uh, could we... Could we split it? If source 1 and source 2 are both at 0 send 100 volts to out three could we just go could we cheat go there go there go there and go there i don't think that'll work but no i was gonna say <laughs> yeah i was uh expecting that to uh to error out there okay back to that get rid of these cables uh should probably lock these in position Nice and visceral to shift these things around. So, we have... Uh, how are we going to do that? Source 1 and Source 2 are both at 0. Then send 100 to out 3. Otherwise... Mm, if the input signal is more than 100, 0 volts, it's module output 0, else it outputs 100. Source 1 and Source 2 are both at 0 volts. Send 100 volts to out. So, would that just be... Essentially 2 knots? Um... So, not, not, compare the two, three, click. Yeah, that works. Again, feels like there could be a better way of doing it, but I don't mind. I get some satisfaction from at least completing it. And we get little bleeps and bloops as it speaks droid. And there we go. That is another one completed job done so that's the sort of thing that you can be expecting to do in here we now have an irrigation system which um well if i go to this one i've not yet completed it and <laughs> there is a reason why we have to basically put all of those together when source 2 and source 3 are at 100 volts send source 1 to out 1 it gets quite complex uh, very early so i'm not going to i'm not going to subject you to me trying to get this one completed because you'll probably be um, 
hitting your head against the keyboard so hard the desk is getting damaged. So I'm not going to subject you to that. That has been a bit of the signal state. I know when I'm beaten and I'm not there yet, but this does have, I think, a very high skill ceiling and uh, it's one of those things that I'm, I am enjoying, but there will be a point where my uh, frustration level and skill level meet and I go, you know what, I've had fun, but I'm calling it there. Um, that doesn't take away from the game because that's me rather than... It's, it's me rather than the game. I think that it is well made, it's very well presented, and I love this whole synth mechanic thing. And But all of this is like, it seems to be physically simulated. You, 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 it's like you're building this thing. Uh, and you're connecting all the plugs and cables and I just I like that. I very much like it. As for the puzzles themselves uh, Yeah, they seem to be quite challenging challenging for me whether or not for you I really don't know but I wanted to just to basically signal boost it I know when the game maybe is not for me This is a game for me, but only up until a certain point I can't really say how much more I'll play but that doesn't take away from it So I did want to still make this video to show you that this game exists and if you want to check it out links are in the description There's also a demo available as well so you can try it and obviously this just costs you nothing other than time uh, you may find you get into it you may find it's too complicated or whatever either way by few by all means if you want to check it out there is a link in the description there and that's a bit of the signal state i will be completing it i will try to complete a couple more levels and i may there may be something that just clicks and allows me to continue on but uh, we shall see like i said i always go back to opus magnum i actually think it's sort of the pinnacle of uh, those puzzle games where it's about doing doing the very uh, basics and getting something working and then refining this seems to be a little bit more a little bit more confined like yes you can do it uh, this there's probably more solutions that you can attempt and uh, do different things in it but it doesn't seem to be as open as that but it is a first impressions only, so, you know, wouldn't really want to set that in stone. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this little look at the signal state. If you want to see more, then by all means let me know. If you have any suggestions for different ways I could have completed puzzles or improvements, etc., would like to hear them. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.